Anne Hidalgo, Rachida Detti, Agnès Buzyn. Three women vying to become Paris's next mayor. Opinion polls place them ahead of all other opponents. Despite her socialist party in disarray, Hidalgo stands a strong chance of clinching re-election. After six years in charge, she's back campaigning in the streets of the Marais area with the help of a heavyweight. It's always important to stand by your friends when they're fighting a tough battle, that you trust them and that they do so much good for their area. There was no reason for me to miss this, as I was asked to be here. Well, it's a huge pleasure, of course, to welcome Bernard Cazeneuve. He was a great interior minister and prime minister. I was lucky enough to work with him. We overcame many difficult events together. She made many enemies by declaring war on cars, notably turning the Seine riverbanks into pedestrian areas. The essence of her manifesto is pro-environment, with also left-wing policies, such as rent control measures and a 25% target for social housing in the capital. We do not differentiate between the necessary environmental measures and the social measures that are set to allow the working and middle classes to keep living in Paris. When I look at what other candidates propose, these are undoubtedly conservative and even backward measures. I think what I offer is clearly different. She wants to turn half of Paris's parking spaces into bicycle lanes and green areas. But issues like climate change have been overshadowed in recent weeks by a very different kind of story. Benjamin Griveaux from President Macron's party quit the race after an intimate video of him leaked on social media. Agnès Buzyn replaced him, leaving the health ministry in the midst of the coronavirus crisis. The Griveaux scandal is shocking because it's a private affair. But I was surprised that one candidate could replace another less than four weeks before the vote. It's absurd that she resigned from the health ministry to come battle here for City Hall. I don't see the point. Did she have a choice? I don't know, but she could have waited for the coronavirus crisis to have calmed down. Buzyn is standing in an election for the first time and trailing in the polls. President Macron called her in person to convince her to join the race. I'm going to explain to Parisians what my policies are, with ambition and determination. I want to show them who I really am, because some don't know me enough. I want to show them that I am capable of bringing people together behind my manifesto, which is all about caring for people's lives. She wants to privatise waste disposal and create so-called street managers in each Paris arrondissement or district to ensure it stays clean. For Buzyn, climate change needs to be addressed, but not in the Hidalgo way. There is no manifesto more green-friendly than the other. What matters now is to have a reasonable method. What I can say about the mayor is that she did want to protect the environment by creating bicycle lanes and making the riverbanks pedestrian. But there was no preparation and organization behind it. Security and clean streets are also the key issues for centre-right candidate Rachida Dati. Here in Barbès, one of the poorer parts of the capital, people expect more from the state. Our President Macron says you just need to cross the street to find a job. I'd like to tell him that you just need to cross the street to find someone who'll sell you a little piece. A piece of what? <laughs> of drugs. Have a nice day. Detti is mayor of the Poche 7 arrondissement, and when asked about the differences with this area, she gets slightly infuriated. You think it's a game? Well, I have just as much respect for people from the 7th arrondissement as for people from here. When I come up with a plan for Paris, it's for the Parisians who all want security and clean streets. I want to end anarchy on all levels. Anarchy in the city's finances, anarchy in the housing system. I want to reorganize everything. Detti says she will crack down on crime, thanks to an armed local police force and the trepling of CCTV cameras on the streets. <laughs> She's gone up in the polls with a clear right-wing discourse, saying France's model and values are under threat. 
Look, there are places, businesses, cafes here where you see no women. There's no mixing at any level whatsoever. That's what Paris has become. The Republic has lost control over parts of its territory. We thought it was the case far away, but no, it's happening here, in the heart of Paris. I want to heal this fracture. All of Paris's districts are affected. And what caused that? Politicians have acted soft, with cynicism, contempt and self-interest at times. We need to end all of that. It's unlikely any candidate will get an outright majority in the mid-March local elections. So they'll need to strike deals with key players like the Greens or Cédric Villani, who broke away from Macron's LREM party. Negotiations set to be tough. The next mayor will be in charge of Paris when it hosts the 2024 Olympics. And that makes the capital even more attractive.